about the trip <laughs> <laughs> well are you recording <laughs> yeah hey welcome to <laughs> welcome to creek beaters hey, tv hello. this is this is lawson creek all right TV. Yeah, it's lawson. Hey. how are we doing today buddy uh we're gonna go out to sugar creek try to get us some small mouth and go waiting a little bit i haven't been waiting in a while um I don't know anything about this place so yeah that's true we it's don't. a new place for us so yep. it's gonna be a new experience but we're gonna go smack them up put the smack down on them yeah let's go guys i'm gonna go show you guys how to catch some fish well i hope so <laughs> okay just real quick then what do you think it's gonna be today top water uh that's what i'm starting what's off the with. bite i'm gonna start with top water because it's getting to be fall it should be about top Man, water season be, yeah I've seen some nice ones caught on top water already on ploppers. Yeah. I'm um, thinking this one we'll go with, but. I'm starting off with my go to, which is the white curly tail, tail, twister tail. Yep. Yeah, I got some of those too. So I'll try a few Cinco's and uh, mm -hmm. some swim baits. I have some of them too. Yep. Yeah, a couple chatter baits. So that's my my arsenal today. So. Alright. Well, yeah, we'll when see. we get out there, we'll show you guys right now. Let's go, man. Let's see you out there. Big rock right there. I'm trying to hit it. I'm gonna throw right between those rocks. Right there. There's a bike. Got him. Huh. A little better. A little better. Yeah. I was getting bite right off the tip of this. Big rock right there. Huh? A better one? Yeah. He's not a monster, but he's better. Boy, he's not a monster at all. He I guess I could have videotaped it. Those are nice. I might have to get me a longer string on here though. Or something that flexes. Yeah. Throw that in there. You gonna lip him? At least he gets to touch one today. I can get him. I just didn't know if you wanted to. I saw you coming that way. Now, that's about an eight pounder. No, that's a that's a good 12, 14 incher. See you, buddy. I thought he messed that up. When they mess your lures up like that, just go poke a new hole and turn it upside down. Do it like that. And now the tail will still swim straight. It just swims upside down and that doesn't matter to the fish. They don't care. he was but boy it was a good one I'll never get him again either dang it dang it
Man, you always lose the big ones. That was a that was a heck of a blast. Oh man, Austin go go over there. Dang. Huh? Oh man, that was a good one. As soon as that landed, I saw bait fish jump from the from the wood to the right. So hopefully something's headed my way. Get one right there. I was gonna say that, that should be a fish right there. Right off that wood. Good jumping. Acrobatics. Is it? Small mouth. A nice one off that right off that wood. Oh good. took the fish I was just about to catch. <laughs> There's another one right there on that center section of log. Right there. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. That's a that's a heavy fish. I don't think he's a 10 pounder or nothing, but he's a decent one. Right off of that log, right where I said, boy, ain't he pretty? Look at him. Come on, buddy. That's a good one. Look at those collars. I want to get a picture of this one, too. that stick that log like I did over there don't let go of him yet got him you got him
Well, he's fighting hard, but he don't look big. Came off right at the last minute. You got me. Not that I know the count anyway. Almost I caught one. I'm gonna show you how, how you're fishing the creek. This over here is ripples, so it's really shallow. And this obviously is no water, creating an island. But over in here, even though it's still what we would consider shallow, it's deeper than the surrounding water. There's rocks in there and there's grass on the shoreline. So, what that means is that should hold fish, especially smallmouth. So, we're going to throw a pair up to the shoreline. Instantly got a hit. So, they're in there. But we're going to throw up to the shoreline. Oh, they're all over me. Little bitty dudes. <laughs> This is where they're going to congregate, is in this little pool. So, what I'm going to do is try to get out here where I can throw up to the grass line and bring it back through these rocks. See, right off that grass line, through the rocks. Six inches. But they are clobbering it. There's just there's a whole school of them out there just beating it up. <laughs> right off that edge. Down to the deep spot through the rocks. There he is. Boom boom. I stopped it there, see if he Picks it up. Nope. There's about five of them out there. Oh. He hit that and I was bringing it out of the water. Little bitty guy. You never know if there, there is the potential for some big ones in there, believe it or not. Doesn't take much water to hold a big one. They are chasing it like crazy. He had it and I didn't set the hook on him. Man, they are just ferocious. Right off that grass, that deep spot. Guess I need to tighten the drag a little bit. Is that a Blacosimus? That is. I have no. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a chub. That's a big chub. Wow. I've never caught a chub on a grub, <laughs> but I have now, and it's a good one. Wow. Thing got it and swam to the left so fast. Oh, he came off. There's one with it. There we go. Got him coming out of the water. Nice, nice smallie on my other go to bait. I love them. It's hard to beat the double tail grubs, hard to beat them. That's another thing guys, uh, just because you pass this way and catch a fish doesn't mean when you come back you won't catch them.
It's hot. It's, it's hot. I'm drenched over here. All right, folks, let me tell you something about waiting. We do this just about every time. I guess you say we're slow learners or no learners, actually, but bring water with you, some sort of drinking water. Um, a life straw would have been perfect here. I've got one at home. I could have drunk all the water I wanted, but what happens is in these neoprene waders, you get so hot, whether it's... Uh, whether you're in the water or not the water does help cool it off a little bit but it's still the water in waders constricts to your body and you get no air and nothing breathes so it still feels pretty hot well when you're wading the creek biggest thing i can tell you is account for travel time okay meaning if you go downstream two hours be prepared to come upstream three hours if you're waiting okay um, especially if you're fishing now we can make it back probably in under two hours if we don't fish it but we're out here so we're gonna be in it to win it um, we just won't fish it as hard as we did coming down this way so things to think about when you go waiting guys it's uh, it's very demanding on your body um, and at, to add two things, we're up in the triple digit heat indexes right now. Uh, I don't know the exact temperature. I'll put it on the screen like I always do. But um, I do know we're in fairly dangerous uh, heat indexes. Now, if we start feeling sick, like we're not going to make it out here or something, we can always strip these waders off and jump into the water and uh cool off and not really hurt us one thing that i'm doing i don't know if you can see this but i take my hat i submerge my hat in water and i flip it up on my head and it throws water down my back and so on and uh that is a huge help in this heat all right guys this is the trip that almost killed me. I am in worse shape right now than I've ever been in my life. As far as being in the middle of something I can't get out of. Heat, exhaustion, thirst. I got more hill to go. <sighs> I'm keeping the faith. The faith keeps me pushing along. This is the worst, I'm telling you what. This is the worst condition I've ever been in my life. It's so hot and so muggy and dangerous. So hopefully I'll make it out. If not, Lawson's got some footage here to edit. So see you guys. Thank you guys for being here this week again. Well, we got into several smallmouth. Didn't get the monsters we wanted, but we got some respectable ones. They're not bad. But thanks for joining us. Come back again next week. In case you didn't notice, I did change the time of the videos from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Wednesday evenings. So uh, join us Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Hey, guys, if we don't see you later, Lawson. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Yes, you love to be wrong. You don't have the touch of the boss. What are you talking about? Creek Beaters TV? That's awesome.